Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today, we are going to be looking at a program called Make Human, and this one's got a heck of a development. So uh, we're going to basically, well, ignore the new stuff, because basically you can think of the entire program as being new. So instead, I'm going to jump straight in to a demonstration, and I'm going to start with some nightmare fuel. So yeah, here you go. This is something I created in Make Human in just a few moments. It is terrifying. It is a baby in a psychotic hockey mask. And what this guy is all about is making and posing and dressing humans. It's kind of like poser, but on top of that, it is free, community driven, and fully and tightly integrated into Blender. And this 1.2 upgrade got all kinds of new features. We've got um, integration into the community is probably the biggest new thing. So you can now download things like, I don't know, psychotic hockey masks and Superman shirts. So that is kind of what we are starting at. But I want to show something uh, I just kind of noticed in doing this video. I don't know how to create something new. Come up here, you have uh, load, you have save, and you have export. There is no new as far as I can tell. I, I don't know what's going on there. So instead, what we're going to do is start from scratch. All right, so here we are in the uh, brand new 1.20 Make Human. You may recognize that graphic from the title graphic when I first uh, loaded this one up. Uh, this release is it's pretty powerful. So let's just let it load up. And it is time to start making humans. So at the very beginning, we started kind of in this, uh, this midpoint between uh, the the genders. So you sit here, you can slide in between the two versions. So here we are now with a male uh, model as the base. You will notice there is no private parts on by default, although you will find the community always, always handy out there have provided a plethora of genitals, if that's really what you want to do. And then what we can do is start swiping between the age. So we go, uh, there we are old, and there we are young. Now, I don't understand why you continue to get taller when you get old, but okay. Uh, you can check out the musculature, like so. It's, it's all slider-based. Kind of keep working until you get something you want. Weight. Now, interestingly, I find the weight, you can only get so fat in this program, which I guess in the age of COVID, we can all appreciate. But there are limitations. Then we got height. And we've got proportions, and then we can toggle. These are three-way toggles uh, between um, the the ethnicities, so African, Asian, and Caucasian. So here we can Caucasianize this person here. Um, so once you've got the main down, you can come in here to gender-specific stuff, which basically are your breast sliders. I made a male, so that shouldn't matter too all much. And then we can come in and start tweaking out the head. So we can individually set things like uh, head fat levels. You're seeing the results up here as I, as I zoom in. Now, one thing I do find frustrating is for some reason, scrolling down zooms in. So it's backwards to what I would expect. So I'm going to screw that up all the time. By the way, you've got controls up here so you can switch between wireframe. Um, I think that's, yeah, your posing ability. Uh, you can turn the background on and off and so forth. Uh, you're actually going to find if we take a look at the wireframe, the meshes here are pretty clean. Uh, so you've got the control mesh here isn't really that high polygon to start with. And it stays pretty consistent, mostly quads, mostly good geometry. So it should export into a game engine quite nicely. So once you're done messing around with the head, come in, adjust on the torso. Again, all kinds of Hippy, hippy, shake, shake. You can do all kinds of control over the individual person. Uh, you've got control over the arm, the distance between fingers, like so. Uh, the length of fingers. So let's make this guy abnormally large fingers. There we go. Um, hand scale. So we can make small hands, gigantic fingers, and so on. We can completely randomize it. Uh, customize things. Over here, you'll see uh, I don't have any targets folder stuff there, so I don't have any custom stuff I can work with. So there is our basic character as we've made it. Of course, you can come in, you can do uh, measurements for how big someone is in various different categories. You can see their height and details over here. So if you want to match to a specific uh, profile or character, you can do so with the measurements here. And then we get into geometry. So here, geometry, this is where you start uh, dressing your character per se. And the nice thing with the 1.2 release is the community now has all kinds of new options here. So let's add this uh, sports top here, turn wireframe mode off so that you can see it in action. Okay, maybe that's not the best work. Let's go to well, some male casual wear. Oh, uh, we had a little bit of a toggle here with the sports top. So there we go. So we got a character. Let's put him in an elegant suit instead. Toggle off the casual wear. And yeah, we're good to go. And we got 
I don't know, psychotic hockey mask. Ah, maybe not this time. But we should probably give this dude some shoes. He's not looking all that proper without a good set of shoes. A number of different default options going on here. Now, you'll notice there's a couple of those I brought in. Superman shirt uh, and the Elvis disco pants. So if we want to change out his suits, we could put Elvis disco pants on instead. I'm going to turn those off at this point in time. And, of course, we could give this fellow a hat. I'm not going to. We'll keep it as it stands right now. And then we get into a freakish level of control. We come in here, we can have control over the eyes. We can do higher low polygon eyeballs. We can give this guy some hair so he doesn't have to be uh, that look. We had a number of different ones. We'll give him a short hair hairstyle right there. Now, hair is basically coming in as a mesh, I believe. So you don't have any real control over it. But you got a number of different options. So if you want to give him the Dante, we can give him the Dante. Let's go back here to... Uh, oof. What a D-bag. All right, there we go. This guy uh, looks like a presidential candidate, actually, at this point in time. Um, once you've got all that done, you can actually even go in and give him a full set of teeth. Now, this isn't going to immediately be obvious, but we'll show you where this matters later on. we got control over the topology. So you can actually drop in more like a, a straight-out uh, so male topology. You'll see it has a, a profound effect on the entire thing. It kind of overrides what we've worked with so far. Uh, we can control the eyebrows. So let's give him eyebrows number five. We can control his eyelashes. Of course, he needs some eyelashes. And we can even give him a tongue. All right. So you're not seeing the teeth in the tongue yet, which is probably good because, again, that stuff is nightmare fuel. And then we get into the material side of things. This is basically your texturing. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of uh, default stuff coming out. So if we want to come in here, we even do a tune shader. It looks terrible, but there is a tune shader option. Uh, old, old Asian male, old Asian female, old African male. Uh, young Asian male, young Caucasian female, and so on. So you have a number of uh, skin types and textures all ready to go. And then we get into posing and animation. Now, this is actually kind of cool. So in order to rig one of these guys, add a ring to it, it's probably about as easy as it could get. You got a number of different rig options with different levels of detail, this being a game development channel. Of course, I am going to go over the game engine rig. Pretty straightforward. Um, so you see here, you get, you're getting hands. You're not getting feet or toes. You're getting a pretty small number of bones, but you're getting a rig that is... Um, game engine friendly. So once that is done, you can also come in here to the pose mode and we've got a number of default poses we could set this guy in. So if we want to just go ahead and render this guy out, which by the way, rendering is the next tab, we can do so. So if we want, now that he's got a pose in, we can give him a sexy seating standing position. Uh, we've got the the waddle, the modeling running down the the runway kind of poses going on here. Or of course we can have no pose at all. Realistically, what you're going to do is probably bring this guy into a tool like um, you know, Blender or maybe upload it to Mixamo to get it some art scans or whatever. So really what you do down here doesn't matter too much, but you can pose your character directly inside of Make Human. And then we get into the expressions. So we've got a number of different expressions. Remember earlier on when we gave him all that other stuff? Well, there are the teeth and there is a tongue if we get in there. I don't know. Here we go here to that guy. There you see we have a tongue and teeth. So you actually can get full-blown facial poses off the hop uh, so yeah, he is, uh, I think that's this constipated. Oh wait, no, it's disgusted. Uh, so here you can see, you can do facial posing on top of the rigging and initial posing stuff. Really simple to get that going. If you want, you can go ahead and render this guy out to a PNG image of various different resolutions. Uh, there is an image viewer and a scene viewer here as well. Uh, we got a number of different settings and so on. Uh, you've got support for user plugins that you can install and extend this guy. Here are all the various different plugins that are already ex uh, in installed. And we've got a bunch more that we could bring in and enable as well. So you've got things like plugins for like exporting to FBX and OBJ and Ogre and STL and various different other file formats. Uh, we have the utilities, which is basically just the log for this guy and the expression mixer over here. If you really want to uh, tweak out those uh, facial poses, you have basically this is sort of like blend shapes uh, that you can do directly inside of here. And then we go over here. Help doesn't really do much. And then community. The biggest relevance for community is the twofold. First off, we've got right here. We could come in here and you could do a synchronize and get all of the assets that are available on their uh, their servers. And here is the big new thing. So if I want to get some clothing, I can come in here and we can update a list. And here is all the various different pieces of clothing that the community have provided. So this is one of the huge new features in 1.2. So for example, if I instead wanted this guy to be uh, wearing, let's say we want to come up here and say uh, gloves. Let's give this guy a set of gloves. So we can search for gloves, clothes, type gloves, but we've also got 
poses, teeth, eyebrows, proxies, materials, and so on. But let's stick to clothing, gloves, update the list. So here's all of our various different gloves here. Uh, so let's give him some hero, heroine gloves one. Now you don't always get a picture. Sometimes you'll get a picture up here. Let me see if I can find one with a picture. There you can see a picture of what the gloves look like in action. That's not always the case. Some things have gloves, some things have pictures, some things do not. Uh, once you've got it, go ahead and do a download. So those gloves, are, you see down here the progress as it went by. Oh, and we just crashed. Okay, so you're going to have to deal with a little bit of that as well, which is unfortunate because I was about to demonstrate exporting. So we'll go back here and we'll demonstrate the exporting port. I'll pause while this is loading up. And this is the nature of demonstrations. When you demonstrate something, it is going to crash. And yeah, that's what happened. All right, so here we are. Uh, let's just do a, we'll random, we'll randomize until we get, oh, you can really create some beast fuel. All right, let's 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 stick with the white hip granny here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get some uh, get some clothing on here fastly. So let's get a, an elegant female suit on. Okay, I think it would be a grandpa. I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. Uh, let's see if our, our character made it in. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think I'm gonna rely on that one loading. No, that one seemed to have caused the problem. So I'll bring in the one I downloaded earlier on. So we got we got this nice mask going on, and I think you really can uh, you can top that one off with a fedora. Oh, it's not clipping well together. All right, so there we go. We got uh, our wide hip grandmother uh, with a psychotic hockey mask. Now the reason why I created a quick new one here is you come over here to community, and you will notice socket. So socket is currently open and waiting for uh, communication. So that means what you can do is head on over to Blender. Once you're in Blender, of course, we're going to go ahead and kill the default cube. Uh, you need to install the plugins. So edit preferences and add them in. The plugins will be part of the install. So when you get um, make human installed so right here, make human community, you'll notice there's an add-on folder and four separate plugins. The biggest one you're gonna want is the make human plugin for Blender, but you've also got tools here for targeting skin creation and clothing making directly inside of Blender. So go ahead and add them in using the install button here and then enable them. You'll notice once they're enabled, hit N for the tool key and you're gonna see them all down the side here. The key one you're gonna want today at least is make human. And what this allows you to do, click the import human button and boom, it pulls it in from the other side. So if we make any changes, boom, they come in. I switch over here, we should have textures on our model. There you go. Now the weird thing is, I think this might be an early bug. For some reason, I'm not pulling skin across for anything I import in. Uh, the skin is the only texture that is continually missing. But here you see, you've got a fully rigged character ready to go. There is an armature underneath all of this. Um, and, and it's basically, uh, good to go, ready to use in your game engine of choice. Now, one of the other nice things with this particular release is uh, the license is guaranteed. So anything you bring in, anything you use is ready to be used in your game, your commercial game, if you wish. I believe it's all under the CC0 license. So you can use whatever you create it. So if you're interested in checking out or learning more, uh, it's available at makehumancommunity.org. Not a whole lot going on with their website. The key thing is this 1.20 release. And there is, again, a ton in this one. Uh, the major update, the underlying code focuses upon replacing outdated dependencies and modernizing the system. Shift and focus have been made to position Make Human as a shared tool serving a larger community uh, with through integrated access through third-party access and extended functionality so there's where you see the plugin support and uh, the community stuff which unfortunately crashed when I did it in this demo but generally it doesn't so there are a ton of changes I will actually instead of going through all of them a lot of it is just changes across the board the new integration that we saw really quickly at the end there uh, there is just kind of too much to cover at this point in the video but I think at this point in time you either saw what you want and, and you see something to use here or you didn't. So what's actually changed here, again, I will link this so you can go through it yourself, but with the community overhaul and the actual plumbing of the, the program being changed, some pretty big changes here, including the integration. The key thing too, again, was the license was changed to be more comprehensive. As I mentioned earlier on, the details are available there, but it made clear that assets included and produced by MakeHuman are CC0 no matter how you get them. So if you pull them from the community or you import them or whatever else, uh, it, you can use your models pretty much however you wish. So there's some more details on how the licensing changed, but what the, the nutshell means is there's no license encumbrance here. You can use this to, um, to, to make games and the assets are yours and usable as you wish. Um, so, and we've also got the community integration and in the asset downloader, plus there is a new installer. Uh, unfortunately, the 32-bit version is no longer uh, working because the 32-bit, uh, there were some dependencies that no longer work, uh, but that's about 
it. So anyways, that is Make Human. Uh, definitely a, a nice step forward. You can, again, really create some absolute nightmare fuel here very, very, very easily. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd be interested in hearing uh, what you think of uh, Make Human in general, if there's something you could see using. I do love the fact that they have made uh, rigging so easily and the facial posing and all that. It's just really impressive stuff. And again, unfortunately, we did see a crash in this particular case, uh, but pulling in the community assets, this, this is huge. So if you wanna bring in, again, a set of poses, you need some new poses to work with, here are a ton of poses provided by the community, and this stuff is only going to grow over time. And as I mentioned earlier on, there's also um, extras or proxies. You go to proxies, and here's where you can start finding uh, things like male genitalia. I'm not gonna click it. I don't want a thumbnail up there, uh, just in case. Uh, YouTube may already be having enough issues with this one. But as you can see, there is a ton of stuff there. So you want new hairstyles, the community has created uh, you know, a few, what do we got? 73 of them already. And again, I expect this stuff to just increase over more and more and more over time. So uh, definitely a cool looking project. And the cool thing, once again, uh, is you can actually export this stuff out. So over in addition to having direct plugin integration into Blender, if you are working with uh, Autodesk's tool suite or directly to your game engine, you can actually pull this guy out straight to DAE or Collada format, FBX, uh, make humans own exchange format, uh, object format, uh, Ogre 3D, and STL as well. Um, so you do have the ability to get these things out really, really easily. So that is Make Human Community 1.2, a free human creation tool that has just taken huge strides forward. Be interested to hear what you have to say. Talk to you all later, and goodbye.